Hey, what's up, guys? In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use a web scraper with Python, and we're going to be scraping SoundCloud for the top 50 charts and the new and hot charts. So I'm just going to show you the final product before we get started. So we can search for a track. Or we can search for an artist. Or we can search for a mix, which is just a track that's longer than 30 minutes. And this is where we get into the web scraping. So we're going to look for the top charts. Here's all the genres available that we can search through the top charts for. I'll just select 10 for drum and bass. And here's the top 50 songs for drum and bass. So if I select one of them, it'll automatically start playing it. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to tell you everything you need. All right, so I'm going to be using Python 3, and I'll be using the text editor or IDE called Atom. And you can download that from atom.io, and you can download Python from python.org. So we're going to need some libraries for this. First of all, we're going to need a, a web browser called Selenium that lets us basically edit our web browser in real time from Python. So let's go ahead and say, if you're using Mac, pip3 install Selenium. If you're using Windows, just say pip install Selenium. I already have it. We're also going to need one called requests which is basically just grabs the HTML from the internet. And then the last one we're going to need is BS4, which is beautiful soup, which basically parses HTML and is commonly used for web scraping. All right, perfect. So now that we have that, go ahead and make a folder called SoundScrape on your desktop. And let's call this file soundscraper.py. And let's start off by importing those libraries. So we're going to say from Selenium import web driver. And then we're going to import requests and BS4. And the last one we're going to need is OS. Now we need some URLs from SoundCloud because we need to, um, basically we're going to be plugging in these URLs to search for tracks and such. So I'm going to go ahead and write these out. So we're going to need the new, top, mix, track, and artist. URLs. So the top URL is charts slash top. Just going to copy and paste this. The new URL for the new and hot tracks is chart slash new. Then we need the track URL. This is for when we search for tracks. That is SoundCloud slash search slash sounds question mark Q equals. Now we're going to need the artist URL. It's 
So we're just going to change sounds to people. And the last one we're going to need is the mix URL end. It's basically, we're just going to add this to the end of the track URL. And it's going to say that we only want songs that are longer than 30 minutes when we're searching for mixes. So that one is and filter equals or filter dot duration equals epic. The next thing we're going to do is create a Selenium browser. And a sel Selenium browsers, they basically let you um, edit the web browser in real time using Python. So we can like click buttons and log in and log out and things like that using Python inside of these inside of this browser. All right, so we're going to say browser equals web driver dot chrome and then browser dot get https colon slash slash just soundcloud dot com so this is just going to open up soundcloud right when we start it up and we'll have our browser that we can edit throughout the program but we're going to need this it's called chromium we have to download it from the internet so that we can use it inside of our program. Actually, it's called Chrome Driver, so let's look for that. So here it is here. Let's go to the website and download the latest release. And once you have that downloaded, we're going to have to find it inside of your finder because we need to copy the path to that executable. So for me it's just in my downloads folder. Right here. Then just right click it and copy the path. And now paste that path inside of this with quotes. So this should be all set. Now let's open up the terminal and try and run this. It should just open up one of these Selenium browsers. So if you're using Mac, just CD onto your desktop. I'm going to clear this out so it's a little easier to see. And then we're going to CD into that folder you created if it's on your desktop, which I called Soundscrape. And now we're going to run it. So just say Python 3 Soundscraper.py. And there we go. You can see here Chrome is being controlled by automated test software. That's because we're controlling it with our Python program. Alright, so we made some good progress in this video. Um, check out my next video and we're going to continue on and make a menu and search for our tracks, artists, and mixes. And then later on we're going to use Beautiful Soup to scrape the web. Thanks guys and I'll see you in the next one.